Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Mega Modded Gungeon. We are jumping in again. Let's roll it back on another run, see what we might get, and just have a have a little good old time. I apologise once again for missing the episode on Friday, Thursday, or whenever it normally comes out. But I'm going to release this one a little earlier to make up for that. I ended up being away. I went to Edinburgh on Friday through to Monday. Um, it is now Tuesday. Um, and... Because of that, I backlogged a lot of Isaac for the weekend away and didn't actually have time to backlog Gungeon. I'm accidentally playing a rainbow run, but we're just going to stick with it. Um, what the hell have we got here then? Um, blah, 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 blah. I like this weapon. I don't know what this is. I'm going to take this because I don't know what it is. The anchor. We also started with the Latanka and antibodies, which are both decent. Um, certain entrances appear consistently. Contains a very small blob. So I'm going to guess that this just allows us to see secret rooms, maybe? Certain entrance... Oh, wait, no. It'll be the blue portals at the end of every level. Of course it will be. Yeah, it'll be the blue portals at the end of every level. Certain entrances appear consistently. And it's got a blue orb in the middle. So if it isn't that, I'll be surprised. But that's actually a pretty good grab. Because we can get quite a lot of upgrades out of that. As long as we can all of some of our bosses to trade in our master rounds. I don't actually need that key, but I still would like to get it. There's certain shops that could be useful with that. Also, yeah, the Latanka early game is actually very good. And it's pretty ammo efficient as well. I always think this weapon's kind of dog shit. And I like it purposely so. I'm not saying it's an unfun weapon. I always think it's weak, but like on purpose. But it's actually not weak at all. Two-shotting uh, a Madge Simpson shotgun shell dude is pretty decent. Pretty decent. But yeah, no never name today. Um, just because I know that he's uh, restless at the moment. He's having trouble sleeping and stuff. Um, while I do enjoy playing Gungeon with him, I don't want to bother him. I also don't want to feel like I'm constantly using him just for content. He is actually my friend as well. <laughs> but anyways. Um, <clears throat> right. Let's move along. Let's move along. Oh, I'm going to have to take my hoodie off one second. One second. It's absolutely freezing in the house at the moment. So I've had a hoodie on, but then I had to go outside to go get my lunch and pick up a parcel. But because I've been outside in the actual cold, coming back in with a hoodie still on has made the indoors feel extremely warm. And so now I'm having to take it off until probably midway through the episode where I then have to... I don't think you can give me anything, can you? I can't remember. Um, I probably have to take it back and uh, put it back on because it'll end up being too cold that is the way of the world look at that look how good that is one shot johnson three four four shotting that guy pretty good one two three four five shot for that guy pretty good going pretty good going really didn't need to use ammo on that dude but yeah the ammo efficiency of this thing as well is really really nice Really, really nice indeed. Um, we don't, we don't really need to buy anything here. I probably should buy armor, maybe. Um, we'll see. I need to use some more high care runs as well. But I think still I'm still getting used to turbo mode, so I just want to get used to that first. Got a raccoon there to get some extra junk. Oh, and a golden casing too, which again isn't particularly useful on a rainbow run, but I'll take it. That was a really, really bad bit of movement by me. Walked directly into that guy. It's fine. It is what it is. Can we not destroy these chests? Apparently not. Good to know, I guess. Bit more junk. I don't think we can get junk out of those, but still. Let's go do our tree room. And then we will uh, see if we get an item from our map boy. But I don't think we will. Okay, nice. I'm trying to get multi shots whenever I can here. There's my health back. There's my ammo back. Beautiful. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. But we had to try it. Right, boss time. Latanka, we'll see how this ends up going against the boss. By the way, I'm not sure if it is, but I do apologize if the game volume is a little louder. It might be, it might not be. I, I honestly don't know. I've been messing around with some of my sound settings on my PC, and it may have affected recording. I missed out on the flawless. You fool. You fool. 
I missed out on the flawless, you fucking big fat idiot. Now the blue portal's going to appear and I can't even use it. I can't even pin into it. I also do not have good bossing weapons, which is slightly frustrating. I, I, I'm not quite sure what's better. I think this is better if we can get the double bounce and hit him twice. It does less damage on the way back through, but it still does some damage. There you go. That wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, yeah, like I said, missed out on the flawless. So the portal, while it will appear, it's pretty useless to us. I'm not even going to bother going in it because there's no point. Um, and I'll buy some armor. I'll buy a sack of things as well. Wasn't particularly useful. I'll buy a key. Why not? And we will go to our room, which I don't know if the water barrel is even still alive here. It's not. God damn it. Do we have a spare? There's normally a spare. There you go. Nearby. Move these tables out the way real quick. It's been a while since I've had to do this. This should just open it. There you go. Good, good. We, we want to do this because we'll get the extra rainbow chest from it. I'm glad there was a spare about for us. And we've got extra keys available for something. I don't know what yet. I don't know what I'm going to use them on, but I have them. They might be... I, I, I did say about a key shop, but we're playing Rainbow Runs, so... No. <laughs> key shop does not matter. Hey, her. It is what it is. It is what it is. Right. We got... The gravity gun? Pretty fun. Let's hit the gravity gun. Okay. We can only pick up objects, I think, so it's not going to work on that. I thought you could... Yeah, I guess I thought you could pick up some enemies. You can. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not exactly what I intended to do there, but there you go. The gravity gun. Oh, Lord. Okay, don't use the gravity gun in this situation. Oh, Lord. I'm getting absolutely dicked on. Gravity gun, you've let me down. It's literally not the gravity gun fault at all. It's only my fault. But still, I'm going to blame it. I'm going to blame it regardless. Kinda hard to use, I'll be honest. Okay, firing slimes into the walls is a very bad idea. They get stuck very easily. The gravity gun's a lot of fun, but goddamn is it not easy to use on controller. Out of that, I'm just really bad with it. I think enemies under a certain amount of HP can be lifted. So what I really want to do is I want to pair it with my pistol so that I can shoot them to weaken them up and then do that. I'll just buy the health because I'm not doing great here. Excuse me? Really? Picking up a barrel counts as shooting? Okay. I guess the shops are closed. <laughs> I didn't realize. You want to see something weird? I guess. Do you want to see something weird? Here's a, here's a bullet kin that's writhing in agony. I'm about to throw him at this geezer.
I'm just seeing what the limit is with the health. Okay, I, I seem to have been wrong, because lowering that guy's HP didn't seem to do anything to help me out there. That was close. Interesting trap room, though. Okay, this is a room that I need to just handle normally. Where's the goddamn buffer, dude? He's over here. Holy shit. I am playing like absolute ass. I didn't kill you? Wow. Rooms with tables, very good. Just pick up trash bags. And barrels. We got this, which is something. Not super useful. Give me the writhing bulletkin. I like using those as weapons, although I dropped it. Apparently opening the map just drops the thing, which is fair. Dude, get off me. I'm just trying to pick up tables. I love that. Get the grenade, boys. Dude, how do I keep getting hit so easily here? Me just being terrible at this game. It's good for the knockback, I'll say that. Why did everything turn to ice then? What the hell? Okay, this has gotten weird. That got strange. That got really odd. Anyways, it's boss time. I'm not super jazzed about this boss. This is gonna be a little tricky. Yep, got hit already. I am just playing at my absolute peak today. I was saying, I've been on holiday for the past four days, and regardless of the fact that I wouldn't have played Gungeon during that time, I swear, any time off of gaming, when I return, I just suck hot ass at every game that I play. Like, I'm absolutely abysmally terrible at everything that I play whenever I get back off of a, of a few days break. I've been playing uh, Isaac and just having a miserable time in Isaac been having a lot of deaths in that game. And then Call of Duty, even that, I'm not doing very well at that. And then, yeah, Gungeon, just like always, playing at my peak. Do you know what would be nice? If we didn't have a gun that sucked ass at killing bosses. This thing is so slow. It's definitely a room clearer. It's definitely very good as a room clearer. But as a boss killer, it, it's nothing. It's not good at all. Come on, big boy, just go down. Just go down, my fat lord. I'm spamming as fast as I can. I need like a boss killer next, or an item that makes my guns into boss killers. There you go. We survived. Oh look, another blue portal I can't fucking use. I'll go in it this time, just to teach myself a lesson.
I want it. Eh. Fuck you, game. Get an item that makes those more common. Gets hit on every boss. Oh, god damn. Sorry about that loud noise. I was taking a drink and my bottle kind of went, went pop. Right. Next rainbow chest, what do you have in store for me? Because so far, what I've taken has not been the best choices that I could have made. The gravity gun's fun, but it's not exactly, like, really good for room clearing. It's just a lot of fun. Um, we've got... I, I genuinely don't think anything here is good. I don't know. None of these look amazing. The constructor gun's all right. I don't know what this is. Let's try this. Void bullets. Shots have a chance to shoot black holes. Okay, that could be fun. Now, I wonder if that somehow works with, um, with this. I, I don't think it will because it's got infinite ammo. Let's see how likely it is with the Latanka. I think that's what, I, I need to use the gravity gun a little more sparingly. Just use it when it makes sense to use it. Don't use it all the time. There's a black hole. We should be able to get both of these ghosts. Not too bad. We got a shop. Which, again, I fucked up because of the gravity gun. This would have been a nice bit of resources to gain more health back, but. <laughs> That's pretty fun. <laughs> Being able to pick those up is pretty fun. Oh no. I'm on half a heart. This does not bird well for little turtle melon. It does not, it does not bird well for me. Get pushing the pitfall. That's a fun one to use the gravity gun in. Haha, -ha, Bowler! You've been weaponized! Fuck you! I love that. Weaponized Bowler. Okay, I was wondering if the curse, like aura, would, would still count while I'm holding it. It does not. Tables do a lot of damage. It's worth using this in rooms that have tables. Don't remember what this enemy does. Thank God I was in the right place there, because I was not—I did not see that coming. <sighs> We're probably dead here. Yeah, that room is a lot of fun. <laughs> I like the design of that one. Just fantastic. Okay, let's not take stuff that isn't any good for us this time. Cool items. Did not work for us. I told you. I come back from a holiday. Every skill I've ever learned about fucking gaming just disappears. Absolutely vanishes. Everything. It's gone. I cannot comprehend why it happens. I've only had four days off. Four. And I just physically cannot game. <laughs> and the thing is as well, it's going to take me like a solid two weeks to get good again. And I don't know why it does this. Also, why is it taking forever to start a new run? What is happening here? Finish up my drink. Oh my god, I, I tried to throw it in the bin and I missed. Come on, game. 
Don't make me wear all this time, please. Anyways, how are you all doing? You all having a good day? You all enjoying some Enter the Gungeon content? Amazing stuff, isn't it? There we go. The game has done something. Huzzah! Right. What the hell we got here? We got some sort of dock based gun. We got ammo, we got sling, coin, whatever this is, whatever this is, whatever this is. I'm gonna take the dog gun. It's got infinite ammo, which is definitely good. Uh, we also got the bowler gun and the wicker heart. Adds a heart and fire vulnerability. Interesting. Infinite ammo. Uh, the blade functions better while it is heated. Swing faster and without ceasing. The wield of the blades are protected but not immune to the fire it makes. Well, this is a bad item combination. <laughs> Charge for a ring of fire. Stat buffs while on fire. Interesting. I like it. So what happens if I drop I can't even drop the wicker heart. So I think this this makes it sound on fire for le for longer. This makes it sound on fire for less time. Vulnerability to fire. Fuck's sake, what a great combination of items. me these enemies i do not understand them This is pretty cool. I really like this. You gotta get the timings if you roll just right to keep this thing going. To not have to reload it. Okay, now I have to recharge it again. Does not destroy projectiles, we've gotta be aware of that. I'm taking a lot of damage. I don't know for either of those. I don't quite know why it's a dog. Right, keep her going. Dude, I keep getting hits. I think it destroys shots and it doesn't. Fool. You see, I can't play the game. I'm still getting hit loads. I'm wondering how long the fire effect would last if I didn't have the wicker heart. Or maybe it's not affecting me at all. I don't know. Literally got hit instantly. Probably not the weapon to use on these bosses. Let's use this gun instead. This thing's pretty good against the bosses. Beautiful. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Skedaddle, skadoodle. 
Where the hell's the fireplace room? Where the hell is it? Is it this one? It is. Right. Vamoosh for me, vamoosh. Yeah, this gun's pretty good as well. The baller gun. Okay, one second. Right. What we got this time? The, the void grenades? We got this thing again. We got dog. We got that. Whatever this is. Knife shield could be kind of good. I'll take whatever this is. It's got infinite ammo. Seems like a good swap to weapon. Just fire it off and then away we go. Seems to take a while to recharge. Can I fire this again? It's not firing. Okay. Oh, okay. I think now I've got to, like, kill stuff to recharge it. I'm getting, like, little bits absorb into me when I kill things, look. Get out of here, Bowler. I'm liking my perpetual state of on fireness. Affecting my health badly, but I'm enjoying it. Ow. This weapon's really fun. How do I. Okay, I see. I was going to say, how do I know this is charged? I see it now. I see it now. I need to stop using this gun. It's most certainly going to be my demise. But I really enjoy it. Maybe I just need to use it normally a little more often. And not use it while on fire. That seems to be my problem. That was close. Where's that shop at? Okay, here it is. Not a big fan of this. Ow, fuck's sake. Oh lord. It's gonna be another death here, boys. But I, 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 I've committed to using this stupid weapon, and I love it. And I will not give up, God damn it! Okay, well that's a, that was a really fun episode, and a really good just demonstration of how I have a complete inability
of to play games. But that that fucking gun was that knife thing was really cool. I really like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless. It was a very, very short episode in terms of how far we got. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.